water is the liquid of life, as vital as the air you breathe. Singapore is a small country with a big water problem. It has no glaciers, no major rivers, and no groundwater. There's plenty of rain, but the tiny island has limited space to catch and store it. In fact, Singapore is forced to buy a large amount of its water from neighboring Malaysia, which sends it by pipeline. Water is very critical to Singapore. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, when you are under pressure, you are under uh, sort of water stress, you have got to look for uh, newer technology, you have got to look for new uh, water uh, sources. For an island, there are few options. One answer might be to look to the ocean. But desalinating water is pricey. It requires a lot of energy, something else Singapore imports. So the government decided to harness the water cycle. Welcome to the new water plant. New water is crystal clear, safe to drink, and very reliable. It is also recycled wastewater, and Singapore's answer to its water scarcity. The crisis is also an opportunity, if you use it rightly, that you can actually turn around the whole game into a game which searches for solutions. Drinking recycled toilet water may not seem appealing, but consider this. Singapore imports about 40% of its water from Malaysia under two temporary agreements. Another 30% comes from rain. Just 10% is desalinated seawater. New water makes up the rest, but that fraction is growing. For now, most of it goes to industry. Industry is growing in this part of the world, as is population competing for the same water supply, right? So you've got to get people more comfortable with reusing what they have and reducing what they use today. And Singapore is not alone. Cities in California, Arizona, and Virginia have also started using recycled wastewater. They've each confronted the stigma that has always plagued water recycling. Singapore's government embarked on an aggressive educational campaign, and it seems to be working. Now, at first, we, we do have doubts about whether this new water is safe or not. But after time goes by, you no, know, it, it seems like safe. So we just go ahead with it. The campaign includes the New Water Exhibition Center, where visitors learn about the technology that protects them in the toilet tap system. In case there's any virus or bacteria, which is highly unlikely, they'll stand no chance of survival. So at this stage, we are providing an additional safety barrier to all the people of Singapore and friends staying in Singapore also. Now the challenge for Singapore is to reduce the energy burden of its waterworks. Recycling water is more efficient than desalination, but it still requires a lot of energy. It's a challenge that the country is meeting head-on. I see no reason why, by 2030, 2035, Singapore can say to Malaysia, thank you very much, you've been very helpful. Uh, we really don't need your water. For IEEE Spectrum, this is Sandra Upson. Thank you.